What is good, Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock. Why I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm going to answer the question if it actually is possible for AMC to beat $20,000 a share when the MOAS does end up happening. Now, before I do answer any questions and talk about anything like that, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal taxation expert, so I'll take this as financial legal taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but benefits the entire ape community as a Whole. with all that said and done and out of the way guys let's get on with the video so looking at amc right now we, there has been some sideways kind of trading in the past right now it's kind of going a little bit up and it's looking quite good but i want to talk about what on earth is probably going to play out for the next upcoming weeks if not months and then what is probably going to happen during the moas so i've been showing you guys this chart right here it basically shows how amc has been following these specific you know cycles over many many periods of time now if amc does have another run-up just like this which is what i've talked about in my previous videos it's very probable that we're going to see amc go to high numbers now the question is and this is something that i can't answer and other people can't answer and that is when is the moss actually going to happen so when we have these big run-ups like this it could lead to margin calls for big institutions, which could bring the price even higher than that. So when we see this new cycle that happens, and it's most likely going to happen, will AMC suddenly squeeze? And that's something that we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, I do believe that we're going to have run-ups and possibly you know, start another cycle, or this might just lead to the MOAS happening this year. I'm super, super pumped and excited for it to happen, but I just want to put it out there that AMC has insane potential to squeeze. What makes AMC so, so, so good for a squeeze? It's not just the short interest, guys, but I want to talk about the power of FOMO. So in my previous videos, I have talked about the federal funds rate. And this is basically a chart of the cost to borrow money in terms of interest rates. And you can see right here that any time we had these big spikes, the market tended to have many, many downturns. And whenever that happens, it's very probable that we're getting closer and closer because it, the market and the cost to, to borrow money cannot re remain low forever. It's eventually going to go up. So my point is, I believe that AMC, if you compare it to the S&P and the NASDAQ, there are going to be times the NASDAQ has these big drops, other stocks as well. But particularly for AMC, I do not see that happening. I think that what's happening over time is AMC is following an algorithm. And the algorithm is allowing this thing to slowly, slowly, slowly stir step its way up. And what does that mean for AMC? And it's like I was saying in my previous videos, I believe that AMC is going to be very similar to Tesla in terms of how the squeeze actually plays out. Now, I may be wrong. We might see AMC just explode over you know, one week. It may happen very soon. But I think that another scenario that you have to prepare for is AMC slowly gaining more and more support as time progresses. And here are many reasons as to why. CPI data just came out. It's basically showing that the price of goods in the USA has gone up 0.9% over the past a month in October. And for the year to date, that's up over 6.2%, very, very high. Now, when we see reports like this, it's actually kind of good news for AMC, in my opinion, because, because the MOAS has power, AMC has power, and the apes people like you and me, we have power. We're stopping AMC from crashing. And so many, so many people are just buying and holding it that it's acting like a hedge for the market. So when the squeeze happens, and I'm going to get to the question now. How can AMC go to thousands of dollars? Because I do believe that this thing is going to go to thousands if you give it the time it needs. I can't guarantee anything. The, nothing in the market is guaranteed. But I do believe it's going to happen. But the question is, how high can AMC go? And I, I definitely see this thing going to thousands. Who knows? We should aim for extremely high numbers, guys, whether it's 5, 10, 20, 50, $100,000. That's how we're going to help this thing go to extremely high numbers. But what would it take to see AMC actually go to $20,000 per share? And that's a thing that a lot of people have been wondering. So let's just look at this data right here. AMC's price was around $40. I'm just going to round it to make it simple. And the market cap was around $20 billion. So as you guys could tell, every time the market cap goes up by $1 billion, AMC's share price goes up by 2 In other words, it's a 0.5 relationship, or should I say that the share price divided by market cap? So basically, let me let me make this simple. If, if you take the number 0 0.5, right, and you multiply it by the, uh, the, the share price, of 40 for instance you're going to get 
20, which is basically what the market cap is. So let's let's make this very simple. I know I'm oversimplifying this. I totally get that. But let's just say we wanted to see AMC go to $1,000 a share, just like that. The market cap would have to be $500 billion. So this is in billions, guys. I just use this equation right here. And once again, the amount of shares outstanding could change. It doesn't account for synthetics or anything like that. But I'm just putting it out there that this is just a rough estimate. But anyways, we would need $500 billion in its market cap to see AMC go to $1,000. Now, let's try something else. How? What would the market cap have to be to see AMC go to one? Let's just say 2000 Hold on, let me let's just say 2000. So what would AMC's market cap have to be if we wanted to see AMC go to around $2000 a share? Let me just do some math. You get 1000 times a billion which is a trillion. A trillion dollars in market cap to see AMC go to around $2000. And I believe that it's possible to see AMC make that move. It's definitely something that can come just from FOMO and shorts covering and a lot of people buying because there's a lot of power in retail investors and institutions as well. Tons of institutions are simply buying and holding AMC as well. So I could definitely see that as a possibility. But then here's another question. Let's um, switch this off to, sorry, this thing is just going all over the place because of ads. Okay, let's just say we wanted to get to 20000 a share. AMC would need a market cap of around $10 trillion for us to get to around $20,000 a share. Now, I'm not going to say it's unrealistic because that, that theoretically is possible because of the way this play is structured. You see, the shorts have not covered, which means AMC has insane potential. Now, does that mean that you know, it's just short sellers that are going to have to pay for this. No, prime brokers are going to have to play a role too. But I'm just putting it out there that there's a lot of possibilities that could easily bring AMC to many high numbers. And a number like $20,000 a share is not as insane as people are saying that it is. It definitely is a possibility. It's definitely something that we should aim for because the higher we aim, the more likely it is to see AMC go to high numbers. Now, it says right over here, according to GME Backup, that the DTCC does not only have a $63 trillion, or at least in money, insurance plan, which insures them in case something like this were to happen, but it will cover assets up to $63 trillion. Now, obviously, there are many nuances to this and whether it's eligible or not, but that's just another one of the possibilities as to how apes can get paid, something that can play a big role. So what I'm just trying to put out there for you guys is that when it comes to AMC, the play is still the same. The shorts have not covered and they can bring the price of this thing to the absolute moon. Now, I don't want you guys to just you know, cry if you didn't sell at the right time, which is why I would recommend slowly selling your shares little by little as you see AMC hit high numbers. So what I would do, for instance, and this is just a hypothetical example, sell a tiny part of your shares at 1000, another tiny part at 2000. And you, you may even keep on holding some shares forever in case we do see AMC actually go to extremely high numbers like 10,000, 20,000, or even 50,000 per share. I'm just putting it out there that that's my strategy. I'm not giving you financial advice, but I'm just putting it out there that at the end of the day, my answer to the question is, is it possible for AMC to go to 20,000 a share? My answer is yes. It definitely is a possibility theoretically. And at the end of the day, for me to see anything succeed, for me to succeed in my life, we just have to aim for those really high numbers. So anyways, looking into AMC for the short term, I do see big moves coming in terms of the price movements. I definitely think that we're you know, approaching the end of a cycle. So it's very probable that this will play out. But once again, it's not 100% guaranteed as nothing in the market is guaranteed, but it's very, very likely that we're going to see something like this. With that said and done, guys, thank you for listening. I'm very bullish for AMC. I think this thing has insane potential. You just have to buy and hold and wait it out. And this thing is going to the moon. When you see people saying, AMC could go to really, really high numbers. If they say the floor is 20, 30, 40, 50, 100,000, do not tell us that we're crazy because one day we might just prove you wrong. 
Thank you so much for listening, guys. I want you guys to just aim for the sky. If you want to ever reach anything high in your life, you got to aim for the sky. And you just have to believe. We have to believe in this movement as much as we can. No matter how many people say that we're crazy, I do believe AMC could go to really high numbers. It may be a little bit hard to see it considering AMC is at 40, but I believe if you zoom out and give it the time it needs, eventually there's going to be a FOMO rally. Eventually, we're going to see gamma squeezes. We're going to see the MOAS. It's all on the table. So thank you for listening, guys. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.